Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. It's your boy CJ Goodfella, Goodfella Sports TV. And I got an article sent to me by Lion Killer Podcast this morning. I'm finally getting to the video talking about the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones potential pay-per-view numbers. Also, let's ask the question, will it hurt the Earl Spence and Danny Garcia pay-per-view numbers? Yes, I decided to do a prediction video on Earl and Danny. I'll probably put that up sometime in the morning. Tomorrow is my estimated date. I might go ahead and just do it tonight since I got some time. So hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check our boxing room or playlist for more videos like this, a boxing news playlist. And basically, one of the co-founders of Triller app, which is, I found out the other day, basically a, a direct competitor to TikTok, which I don't use TikTok, but that's what it is. So one of the CEOs is saying in Clutch Sports Points, and Clutch Points article that they are basically on track to do more pay-per-views than Mayweather, Pacquiao, and McGregor. Now, the difference here is they pay-per-view was $50. I think that pay-per-view was a Ceno. I think it was $100. $100. So that's the, that's the difference, right? But back when Tyson was fighting, the pay-per-views was $50. So basically, they expect to do 5 million, paper, 5 million pay-per-views. That's what it's trending. So... You can't knock it, shoot, because for $50, I mean, you you got eight rounds of two minutes. When McGregor and Pacquiao were fully fighting, Pacquiao was 12 rounds, three minutes, and McGregor went, he went eight or nine, whatever it was. But Mike Tyson will forever be a more popular and a more beloved fighter than Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather's a chump. Floyd Mayweather's a punk. And Mike Tyson, through his ups and downs, if it wasn't for Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather would never touch the numbers that he touched. All the money that was getting, Tyson was doing it before him. Tyson is not a greater fighter, pound for pound, or greater fighter on the scale list. Floyd Mayweather is above him. But as far as popularity and endearment and people loving, Mike Tyson brought more fans to boxing you know, to anybody, and you come in boxing as a fan, as a casual, over time, you decide to become a hardcore or a stay casual. Over the course of time, I grew up with my parents, my mom ordered a Mike Tyson fight. My grandma ordered Mike Tyson fights. So when I got into boxing, Mike was the guy, and then the next guy was Roy, and then the next guy for me was Floyd. So, you know, to see them do this amount of numbers and do this for an exhibition is better than you know, Floyd fighting Pacquiao and and McGregor because how old they are. You know, Roy Jones really wasn't no pay per view star like De La Hoya, Mayweather, and Mike Tyson, but you got to give him credit. Floyd, it ain't easy. Floyd had to open that mouth, and that's when people started paying attention when he when he became the heel, when he wore the black hat, when he when he became the villain like MC Rent. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what it was. So. If these numbers come out and they are outstanding, outstanding. Oh, girl, you come on with my gap band. Shout out to gap band. You know, shout out to Charlie Wilson. That was that was my band, bro. They don't got bands no more, man. But like Mint Condition, they was another live band. Ooh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, the Ozzy Brothers. Personally, one of my favorites right there. But they hit numbers. You know, Mike Tyson going to do it again and probably break numbers. He's probably going to do a Holyfield. And they're going to do hella numbers. But Tyson made $10 million that night. Probably made a lot more. Roy made three with pay-per-view money. Roy probably going to end up taking $10 million home. And Tyson going to probably end up taking 15 or $20 million home. And what's so crazy about it is we transition talking about Earl and Danny. What's so funny about it, though? Real talk. What's so funny about it to me is that these fighters today, other than well, Pacquiao and Floyd is of another era, they won't be able to do this. Deontay Wilder, Joshua, he probably do it in the UK, but they ain't going to be able to do it in America. Tyson Fury, you know, Sean Porter, Earl Spence, Terrence. Man, these motherfuckers, they want to fight each other in person. They never established brands in the United States, including the British fighters. Both of these dudes established brands. 
what Roy Jones did in the beginning of his career, Bernard Hopkins, James Tony, that's greater than any other win by any current fighter, not named Manny Pacquiao. Name me a better win from Joshua to Wilder to Fury to Crawford to Sean to Arrow to Teofimo Lopez. And he did that shit early in his career. Outclassed both of them. You know, but the carry on, of course, it's going to take money away from them. What people got to understand is don't nobody know who the hell Earl Spence or Danny Garcia is like Roy and Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, it's going to take pay-per-views away from Earl and Danny. And they knew that, you know, and they were supposed to fight what the week before and it didn't happen. You know, the way this fight got publicity, I mean, you had people that I didn't even know new boxing existed that ordered this and said, I ordered it. They, you know, it brought back, it brought casual fans, hardcore boxing fans. And Earl and Danny, they don't do that. Earl can do that by just fighting Terrence Crawford. He can do that by just fighting Keith Thurman. If Al Heyman would have made Keith Thurman fought him, Earl Spence would have been on his way to being a household name. But of course, PBC couldn't fuck with nothing Triller did last night. Everything they did was innovative. The setup, the ring, the commentary, the the concert, Snoop Dogg, Edison Sanye, cussing. You know, fuck being professional. This is the 21st century. This is the internet era. You know, this is the social media era. This is the era of controversy. And people like the people like what Snoop Dogg did last night. Think about that card they put on last night. By dude, some other guy by Dude Jack for not fighting nobody. Nate Robinson, Jake Paul. And you know why they able to do this and get away with it? Because dudes like Errol Spence and Danny Garcia and Sean Porter and Keith Thurman and, you know, them punks don't want to fight. Uh, you know, they all want to chase Manny Pacquiao. They don't want to fight Terrence Crawford and do their own. Um, they build their own legacy. Canelo want to cherry pick, do this, do that, put this rehydration clause on this guy. You know, you know, at the end of the day, these niggas didn't drop the ball. Instead of growing the sport by doing things that ain't never been done before, they doing shit prehistoric way. You know, you look at Showtime, NBC, or or Showtime, PBC, Fox, PBC, top rank. It's still, it's still boxing need a jolt of 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 new blood. You know, and right now, Triller they got the juice. You know, they innovative. You know, they keep people entertained. And this was their first boxing show, and they made it look easy. You know, that's why UFC kicking butt. Dana White know how to market and promote in the 21st social media internet, you know, era. Of course, they're going to blame Errol Spence and Danny Garcia pay-per-view numbers on direct to this. But then again, that's messed up that... People willing to dish out fifty dollars to watch Roy and um Tyson and watch Nate Robinson get knocked out. More people are gonna be talking about the Nate Robinson fight than the Earl and Danny fight. And they listening to Al Heyman and Al Heyman overpaying them, and they think they bigger than what they is. I was just uh, showing my man's the show what Jeezy said about Gucci Man in the one hundred three documentary. It's on YouTube. It came with the one hundred three uh, disc, and Samuel Jackson is narrating it. And he had a he had a part in there where Jeezy said, you know, I was put him to the club. I had the same cars as Puff and other celebrities coming, but ain't nobody know who the fuck I was. That's kind of Earl Spence and Danny Garcia and the rest of boxing, other than Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? They pulling up with the same money. They got all this money, but don't nobody know who they is. So they got to have these chains and these flashy cars. And, you know, don't nobody know who these fighters is because Al Heyman and Bob Arum, Old asses don't know how to build a fighter in this era. You know, Errol Spence and Crawford will never be able to do no shit like Even if money got funny or they wanted to sweat off the competitive juices, they couldn't do nothing like this. Look here, let's say Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard say, I'm doing, we doing it next. Well, hopefully they old ass won't. Dude, they going to do just as many, if not more, as Roy Jones and Mike Tyson. They created brands. They, they transcended eras. All these punks do is listen to white collars and duck each other. And that's why I never do that. And then you ask some people to pay $25 more for, for these chumps. And they're going to be like, hey, didn't Danny fight Keith? And didn't Keith fight Sean for free? But this motherfucker fighting him for, what, 100% uh, upcharge? Please, man. But yeah, of course it's going to affect their pay-per-views. But let me know what you guys think. And they ain't even sold out of tickets. And they ain't even doing full capacity. 
But don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all my social media links, description, and Facebook group there as well, too. Want to advertise your business on the channel? Hit me up. Got a question, video request, whatever. Want to make a donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love and support. Best way to donate, share, and hit that subscribe and bell icon.